Is your Genome M7 up to date? If it's not, you're going to want to watch today's video. Hi, I'm Kim Jamison Hurst, and today I want to show you how to update the Genome M7 to version 2.00, which was released by Genome in May 2022. Now, there's a few things you're going to need to do that. Obviously, your Genome M7. You'll also need your computer, and you'll need a USB stick, because this is what we're going to use to transfer the information from the computer to the sewing machine. Now, where do you get this software to update your machine? Well, it's on the Genome Global website. And I put a link in the description below so that you won't have to go searching for that yourself. So make sure you check the description below, click on that link. It's going to take you directly to the website that has the update for version 2.00 for the Genome M7. Now, you need that USB stick, right, to transfer the information. So we put that in your computer first before we go any further. And then the next thing you need to do is to download those files to your computer. And it's a little bit different if you have a PC or a Mac. So I'm going to tell you both ways to do it so you can follow the appropriate instructions. So if you have a PC, when you go to the website, you're going to see there's some information there. You have to click on a box to say you've read the information. You really don't need to do that because I'm going to explain how things go, but you can if you would like to. Once you click off that box, you're going to see there's a red download button that's then going to be available for you. Click on that and you're going to download those files to your computer. All right. Once they're in the computer, there is a few file folders. So you're going to double click them until you see an exe file. Once you've gotten to that step, you're going to double click the exe file. It's going to run through some program stuff is going to happen. Okay, I won't get into details, but just do it. And then that is going to actually transfer the appropriate files for the update to your USB stick. At that point in time, you can eject the USB stick and you're ready for our step two, which is actually going to be updating the machine. Now, if you have a Mac like I do, obviously you're going to go to the same page. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to read those three different files that are in there if you want to, but you need to click on that box to say you've read them and then you're going to click on the red download button. So it's going to download those files. At that point in time, you're not going to be using that exe file. Okay, that's not for us. Okay, you're going to open up the different folders until you get to a folder that says PROG or PROG on it. Open that folder and then you're going to see five different files in it. Those are the files you need to transfer to your USB stick. So you're going to drag those onto your USB stick and then once they're all on there, then you can eject the USB stick and it's ready to use to update your Genome M7. Now, before we update the Genome M7, you want to check and see what version it's running because maybe it's already updated, especially if you just bought it recently. So to do that, you'll turn the machine on and you'll take a look at the bottom right side of the display screen. It's going to be quick, but it's going to show you what version it's running. So the most recent version you're looking for as of the time of filming is 2.00. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out and seeing what it shows. So I'll turn the machine on. And right there, it says version 1.11. So I know I have to update this machine. Now that information shows up really quickly and you might not have been able to catch it. Not to worry, there's another way to check it. The function menu here, this is the one with the three lines on it. If you touch that, it will come up with some information. And one of that, one of the information you'll see there, or one of the uh, titles you'll see there, says machine information. And if you touch that little arrow there, it'll come up and show you which version it's running. So you can see I'm running version 1.11. As I said, I need to update this machine. So we can just close that off, close that screen off. So are you ready to update your Genome M7? So you've got your USB stick with the files on it. The machine is turned off, right? Now, we're not actually going to do this right now. We're going to, you know, do a mock update as it were. I want to run you through the process before we actually do it to make sure you understand what you need to do because there's certain steps that you need to do to make sure you update it properly. Okay. So, the first thing you need to do, machine is off, right? There are two buttons you need to hold. You need to hold the lock stitch button and the needle up down button. Both at the same time, you need to press them in and then you will turn the machine on. And when you do that, you want to make sure you're still holding those two buttons pushed in, I should say, until the display screen turns yellow, at which point in time you can release those buttons. Now, when it's doing its update, you'll see that there'll be a line that's blue at the top. It'll eventually fill the whole screen with blue and it will say finish when it's all done. 
while it's doing that updating, you don't want to do anything to the machine, okay? You don't want to take out the USB stick. You don't want to turn the machine off. You can go have a cup of coffee if you want. It'll take a few minutes. But don't touch the machine while it's updating, okay? When it says finish, it's all done. At that point in time, you can turn the machine off, take out the USB stick, and then we'll double check to make sure the update works successfully. All right, so are you ready to do this with me? Okay, let's take a deep breath. <gasps> machine off, right? USB stick plugged in. Make sure it's in there all the way, okay? And then I want to hold those two buttons down, the lock stitch, the needle up down button, and then I'm going to turn the machine on. So I'm holding those buttons as I turn the machine on. Keep holding. All right, so you see the machine is yellow. You can see it tells you do not take the USB stick out, don't turn it off, don't do anything, okay? And now that it's yellow, I can release those buttons and it'll start changing color. There's a little bit of yellow at the top there, but I think it'll change to blue. It's very small, it's hard to see, but it'll continue down here. So not touching anything, walking away from the machine and just give it a few minutes to update. So now you can see that it says finish on the screen. It's kind of hard to see, it's in black, but that means that the software has been installed on the Genome M7. And for me, it took about 10 minutes to do that. So definitely time for a cup of coffee. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna turn the machine off. I wanna remove that USB stick from it because it's done its job now. And I wanna double check and make sure that it now shows version 2.00, which means that the software update installed successfully. So let's turn the machine on. Let's take a look in that bottom right corner. And it says 2.00. So now my Genome M7 is all up to date. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps to make sure that other viewers will see it. And remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I release a new video. And before you go, check out these other videos I've got just for you. For more helpful quilting information, please go to my website at www.chatterboxquilts.com.